don't know what she's going to do. Okay. Anyways. I'll just close the door on you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cartographer's Guild. My name is Josh. I'm Andrea. I'm Leah. Hi, I'm Brad. And we're playing Odinsphere Lethras here. Mm -hmm. um, Bradley had made mention or noise that we might be wrapping this up fairly soon. Oh, well, we're this is the final boss of the final character. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. Well, yeah, I know, but I thought there were like chapters are, are we after on, that or something. Are we on epilogue or is this? This is epilogue. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. So, no, this is. There will but be not, a bunch not of fighting. There's not more content, people. Oh, yeah. There will be a bunch of fighting final bosses. We're going to have to do that several times to get all the endings. I hope this doesn't make too much noise. There we go. Actually, aim it towards the couch as opposed to the wall. Probably. Yeah. Mm, yes. Brilliant. Brilliant, I say. What insane color do we have? Oh, well. White. I take it you can see through my disguise. None of my soldiers mask themselves. It was a mistake, but. I didn't think this could be finished without losing my trump card. Trump card? Oops. Ingway! Oh, dang it. Velvet, did you? Ingway, Ingway, please don't use that power. Ingway, please! Why did you follow me? It was a mistake to let you keep that cipher. Now is the time to let you in on a secret. Velvet. You are not my sister. It was me. I destroyed Valentine. Oops. What? Back then, if I hadn't known that this man was our father, if I didn't know his battle plans and know that he didn't stand a chance, I wouldn't have made the cauldron run amok. No, no, you... I didn't think it would cause such destruction. You were protected by the cipher and escaped the curse and disaster. I was saved because I was hiding in the cauldron's shadow. I watched the kingdom fall into ruin before my very eyes. And I am spared, as you, as you had intended. You talk as if you understand me. In order to save my father, I destroyed an entire kingdom. Can you imagine the pain I feel? So it was an accident. I still remember what you said when you looked down at me. You did well, you did well traitor. No, the cauldron is Classy, Odin. Yup. There were other soldiers nearby. I could not call you my son. You remember to he is a classic. <clears throat> no, no. Is that, why you, is that why you gave the ring to Elfaria? I'd rather the fairies have it than give it to you. That must hurt the Aesir. You, you, me. Ingrid's just here to watch the world burn. I will pay for my sins with my And him along with it. I shall be cursed, and I will die. If I am the only one who must suffer my mother's curse, then so be it. Stop it! Stop it, Ingwei! But I will take you and the cauldron to my grave with me. Try using your magic. If you think you can surpass the power of Darkova... Cerberus? Where is the beast? Yeah, the beast from uh, Cornelius's kingdom mm. <coughs> required the Book of Transformation that we've been also <coughs> chasing around in various places. Right. So, if I understood that right, it seemed like he didn't mean to destroy Valentine, but he didn't want his father to die. He knew Odin was his father. Mm -hmm. Or learned in the battle. Or learned in the battle. Learned somehow that Odin was his, was his father. Yeah, it sounds like learned in the battle because he because he um it it, it, it sounds like he uh, <clears throat> turned the cauldron on before having that knowledge and then got the knowledge at some point, which is why Odin didn't die. Or <laughs> well, regardless. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's a good theory. That may very possibly be it, because uh, it's not completely spelled out for us. But what it sounds like is that 
he didn't First want... Ride. The Aesir were coming for the cauldron. He didn't want them to have the cauldron. He used it to try to stop them, but didn't know how to control it. Or only sort of knew how to control it, he managed to spare Odin. But in trying to use it and using it wrong, it destroyed Valentine. Apparently, his prob his plan this whole time has been to, Ooh, get, that's a long to destroy that cauldron and probably his father, who acted like a complete ass. As usual. As usual. It's kind of Odin's thing. Yep. Yeah. So he's like, I have to destroy this cauldron and I have to destroy the unstoppable Odin. I'm not strong enough to do that. How do I do that? I'd better get the power of Darkova, and that's why he's been working with these wizards and stuff the whole time. Mm -hmm. It's because he is also trying to stop the cauldron, and this is the way that he thought was the best way he could do it. And he also understands that this is basically the end of him, like there's no coming back from this. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like it now. And it also explains why, at, out of everybody in Valentine, Velvet and him were the only ones not taken by the Puka Curse. Like, he was the one controlling the cauldron, so it didn't take him. And that cipher, which w w I think we learned was made originally for Velvet and Ingwe's mother, um, protected her somehow. Everyone in the series suffers from poor communication skills. <laughs> Everyone is, from every piece of media ever suffers from that. Right? Yeah, that's Isn't basically that the source of. Well, I'm, all I'm the interested drama. to hear exactly why Drea said that. Because, I mean, I don't disagree with you, but what made you say that right then? Well, you know, we're talking about everything Ingwe did. Oh. And. Dunbar says the audio sounds a little off. In what direction? Uh, do we have the game too high, or is our mics too low? Or Yeah, tell us how to fix it. Because <laughs> we can do all of that. I just need to know what direction I need to put it in. I don't see anything spiking. Okay. The, the game volume might be too high. I'm not sure. I mean, that's right there. It doesn't, I guess that's possible. Well, I we will be watching the I will wait to, to feed this boss until you're ready. Yes, tell us quick so that we can... Okay. Uh, okay, so the game sounds good. So okay. I guess Are it's we just too loud? Mix. Too quiet? <laughs> Waity, Opportunity Waity, to open my drink. Well, and the main problem is, is that because it's, you know, live streaming or whatever, there's about a 20 second delay. Uh, there we go. We also have this giant bag of snacks from Japan that Gwen left for us. Our friend who came last week. I think there's more than one bag. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. a second bag upstairs still. Sounds like that we're a little echoey. Hmm. I wonder if it's the dual mics picking up or something like that. I wonder... That's strange. Is one um, of them up too high? If any of them were up too high to create an echo, it's probably Brad's. Is it? I'm not spiking any more than you guys are. Unless it's the... Oh, it, it might be because the music's so high in this particular section we're echoing off the TV. Maybe. Um... I don't know if you want to drop it down a little bit, because I can hear it fine, actually. It does sound a little high, even yeah. though I know it's not. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. Let's oh. try that. Okay, Gumbar says it just sounds different than usual. All right, okay. well, I guess I guess we'll see. Epic music, epic music. Okay, so Ingwe is like, I did all of these things. I just want to stop the cauldron. I took all of these steps. The only way to say, solve all these problems is to turn myself into something awful. Because I couldn't have, like, oh, I don't know, actually confided in my sister and maybe come up with a real plan. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll speak to that in a second. Possibly because I beat you up. <laughs> Don't interfere. Oh, I interfered. No, no, listen to me. Listen to me, Ingwe. Don't worry, don't worry about me. Go escape now. Flee, you fools. We were scared. Scared that our grandfather would kill us. So we swore in front of him. We swore that we didn't love our mother when she was standing right there. She was crying then. 
she didn't cry. But she didn't cry from the pain. She was happy. <laughs> she was happy that we chose the path of life instead of death at his hands. She knew. She knew that she could that she escape. could not escape death. If we sided, if we sided with her, we would have been killed also. That's not true. That's not true. We had forsaken, we had forsaken her. her. We didn't think we didn't <coughs> think to save her. That's why she, That's cursed, why she cursed us before she died. Grandfather was hiding this. It's the second part of the memo she wrote to us. Memo. Yeah, they could have just said letter. She writes of her love for both of us. That's mimeograph. That can't be true. I, I, I abandoned her. I have to be angsty. You'll save your majesty. There they, are. there they are. Kill them before they do more harm. Wait, wait. Those two, those two are. What? What? Still not gonna say. It looks like this is the end for us in way. Because <laughs> you can't fight off a couple of guys. Over here. Hurry, hurry. Hey, oh. We have a portal. Who gets to do that? Your poor cursed boyfriend has returned. You must be wondering about Ingwe. He left his bed, and we haven't found him. But I'm certain he will appear again. At the most inconvenient time, and probably try to kill us all once more. Have you seen my father? He's badly injured, but he's run off. Master Croy? Hmm. <laughs> Ham has joined us with a very loud Puka Portal! Father. <laughs> wow. Oh, princess, Princess Velvet. I finally, I finally have the answer. I, I, I have to tell you. Sorry. Master, Master please rest. Please rest. No, no, this is important. Listen, listen, listen to me. <laughs> Count Marcos, that dude's sword is larger than he is. Yeah. You've missed the Cornelius line. Leading to the world's end. But it's not the path to becoming king. That path has been seen in our country's prophecies. This is the path that must be avoided. Master. Master. Even if this interpretation is correct, the, the outcome is horrible. Two humans survive the end of the world. Princess Velvet. Only two will be spared. Oh, that's unfortunate. Father! Master Cry. Master Cry. Hey, Brad. Mm -hmm. Check to make sure my headphones are turned all the way down. Because I am hearing Please something, but I have no idea what it's going to be. And try to avert the Armageddon. Perhaps that is your something. duty and your destiny. Is that it? Oh. All right. To drive back the invading Valentinian forces, King Galen used the mystic power of Titania to turn into the three-headed demon beast. In other words, the six-eyed beast of the prophecy. Just as we thought, King Galen is the guiding hand of salvation. And this is the three crappy wizards writing this. Right, right. The lord of the netherworld in this saga is Queen Odette. The looming blaze is the inferno king Onyx. If the king of Titania releases his mystic power, overpowers the other nations, and seizes the cauldron, the netherworld and the fire kingdom will join the war and the three dragons will eradicate all, bringing the end to us. But fear not, the world will be saved in the end by the arrival of a new king and his promised guidance. Real quick, <coughs> Tomix uh, jumped in and said, Hi all, just wanted to hop in and say have a good stream. I'm feeling a little sick, so I won't be joining you tonight, but I'll be dreaming about you and all uh, about you all in Odin's sphere. Aw, we'll be sure to catch it later on YouTube, buddy. Uh, thanks, Tomix. Thanks this, for stopping in. This is supposedly the last one. We should be wrapping well, up tonight. So. It, we might not be able to wrap it up okay. tonight, but... That's why I said supposedly. I didn't say guaranteed. Yeah. 
but... The original manuscript written by the three wise men has been lost to time. It bears mentioning that their theory is merely conjecture based on the prophecy. This is Croy's memo. Mm -hmm. A fiery six-eyed beast speeds the guiding hand of salvation. The one who removes the torment is mine own son. The six-eyed beast may, must be Darkova, the three-headed demon beast. This section is based on a prophecy by a great king of Titania. Therefore, the one who removes the torment is mine own son is thought to refer to the bloodline of the Titanian royal family, and if the beast feeds on man, then most likely no human can defeat it. But it's unthinkable that a non-human would be king of Titania, unless of course he is cursed as we are and is no longer human. One that threatens the darkness is the shadow of the lost master. The unleashed frenzy of death. Something seems odd about these phrases. Odette, queen of the dead, has no master to unleash her. If the lord of the underworld is not Odette, then what being can emerge from the under netherworld? Only King Gallen, who is chained in the netherworld, comes to mind. Will he lead the army of the dead to his own country? We did say that coming about last, uh, last session. Mm -hmm. Having read the Psalms based on this theory, the late master is Odette. And the shadow that threatens King Gallon is the shadow of Odette. So these are giving us hints for how to beat the game. How to get the good ending. Right, how to get the mm -hmm. good ending of the game. I've heard that there is a swordsman who bears the shadow of death in the fairy kingdom, but could that be... The looming death blaze cometh, burning down the forests. The flood of fire that man cannot withstand is halted by the world tree and vanishes. Evidently, King Onyx's army from the Fire Kingdom will sweep the land at Armageddon. The saga states that mankind cannot resist, but the World Tree destroys the army. Yet this World Tree exists only in myth. There is no such tree in this world. The second clue. Scorches the throne's surroundings. Does that mean that the throne itself does not get scorched? If so, it could be suggesting that the one on the throne is able to face the flames. The cauldron is, of course, THE cauldron. When the princess's efforts are in vain, the nightmare repeats and Armageddon will begin. Our king must be the one to trigger it. Though blades and arrows are unleashed, the flooding fire cannot be stopped. It can only be chained. <laughs> if any weapon can match the raw power of the cauldron, it would be some manner of cipher, and not a blade, but something that can chain it. In the cauldron that breathes to spare, the blood of the ancients boils. We are newcomers to this land, so we are not of the ancient blood. The one who controls the cauldron must be Valentinian, and must hold a cipher made of chains. In other words, this must be Princess Velvet. If the baby dragon Master Cornelius saw is Leventhin, as the king said, it will be an eternity before it matures and devours the world. It is written that the dragon's growth is slow yet inevitable. Born in chaos and fire, sleep in mother's arms. What is the mother that puts the lord of snakes to sleep? With the dragons Hindle, Wagner, and Belial gone, it seems unlikely that the mother is a dragon. Then what is the mother in the Psalms? Devours the stone of blood. The stone of blood can be taken to mean the red magic stones created in the cauldron. Even if Leventhin is stopped by a red stone, the Armageddon will not stop. The demon lord must have made Baylor in anticipation of this, because Baylor is blue. Mm -hmm. And lead the revival. The last psalm explicitly states that the world will be revived. The demon lord and the magi have taken this to mean that whoever survives the Armageddon will become the new kings of the world. The demon lord sought victory through wars, and the mages tried to control the Armageddon directly. Yet they were all mistaken. The two lords that the, that survive will be chosen from the five challengers of the disasters. The two lords are said to be crownless. I suspect that the lord is not meant to suggest royalty, but something else. Finally, here is the conclusion and my findings. This is conjecture, but from Psalm 5, life disappeared, disappears from the land, all comes to an end. One can only imagine a barren world with a tiny population. By crownless lords, could this mean the primogenitors of mankind in the new world? If so, it will by necessity have to be two humans, a man and a woman. Then we can presume that the mother in Psalm 5 can be understood as the one who defeats Leventhin becomes the mother of the new world. Everyone other than the two humans will perish. How can this be in any way considered salvation? 
I hope that I have misunderstood the prophecies. I take it the bad ending is not misunderstanding the prophecies. <coughs> bad ending is sending the wrong heroes to kill the wrong thing. Mm. Which means everyone dies. Yeah. <laughs> As you'll see. <laughs> I'm guessing that the good ending is two humans actually live, and the bad ending is, no, no, everyone dies. Well, I guess we'll find out. That's my theory right now. The world's going to end no matter what. The yeah, item box is now shared among all characters. Oh. That's neat. I don't remember that, that being a uh, thing in the that. old game. Yeah, I don't remember that either. I hope they increased its capacity, though. It Specifically, oh, yeah. you can change between each character's item box. <laughs> oh, so okay, you just great. have five sets of 128. <laughs> and Ham says rocks fall. <clears throat> okay, real quick, before we move on to the terrifying chapter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we have new Japanese Kit Kats. Ooh. These are Amazake Kit Kats. So I looked it up, um, and I, I figured out why Gwen said I think they might be sake. Um, Amazake is a... It is a sweet drink that is made from fermented rice. Okay. But it's, um... <laughs> no bad kitty! It's not a... <clears throat> oh, hang on. Let me... I don't remember all the things. Sorry. One moment. Um, you want me to open that one and figure that out? Yes. Um, okay, so it's also known as sweet sake. But, um, it's really low in alcohol or completely non-alcoholic because it's not necessarily made from sake leaves um and so it's a, it's supposed to be a sweet thick drink i guess it's very popular on new year's eve is it white chocolate and bread have it i believe so so it's impossible to tell because none of us read japanese yeah but although it based looks on like the it. picture yeah, it looks like it. yeah. <clears throat> I, I'm assuming you will. Okay. okay. Boy, it's strong. I could, Brad just opened it and I can smell it from here. I can't. So these are things that our friend Gwen brought us from Japan. So this is pretty exciting. Like this whole bag is cool. The land, these stuff. The land of 300 Kit Kats. Yeah, I'm like, that would be so cool. The orange ones that we tried oh, last they were so week good. were so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this smells familiar. Smell Did you eat them all? Ooh. It tastes interesting. Yeah. Um, I can I can see why it would also be assumed to be like soggy. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it definitely has like a, that hint of soggy flavor to it. Mm -hmm. I can smell it. Um, although, you know, the nice thing is it doesn't have the alcohol flavor in it. Um, it definitely has that like rich, creamy, uh, sweet bit to it. Although it's not, not something I'm going to go for. So to make the point about Ingway, real quick. <laughs> <coughs> Um, like, they both obviously differently interpreted their mother's prophecy, and I know, like, Ingwe is the king of angst, but something he said in that scene, okay. if I'm the only one to suffer mother's curse, so be it, could be interpreted as, and it's also an attempt to save his <laughs> sister. Like, if I do this, that means Velvet doesn't have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... He, yeah, he's an idiot. Yeah, he could communicate better. But, I mean, his intentions are benevolent, but extremely misguided. But they're not that benevolent. They're really only benevolent towards Velvet. Because right. He was Self-centered willing, benevolent. He was willing to just... <coughs> well, then I don't consider that benevolence, then, because of the number of people he was perfectly willing to destroy to get to where he wanted to go. And he only liked Velvet when she was doing what he wanted her to do. Mm -hmm. He cursed her boyfriend, whom yep. she was in love with. And we did some because he super stupid didn't crap. like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a dick. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's a dick that's ready to watch the world burn just under his terms instead of someone else's. I don't know about watch the world burn, but he's definitely one of the <laughs> most self-absorbed, like, self-centered people in this plot. Like, he has his own motivations. He doesn't mind at least a certain amount of collateral damage. Absolutely. Um, okay, so, um, now we're gonna start. We're gonna do the good ending first. Are we? Okay. Well, I, <laughs> I think it might be a little more encouraging to do it that way. Okay. <laughs> Wait. We're, we're doing the good ending first? Yes. 
That seems kind of weird. Okay. Whatever. What we can do it any way you want to do it. I figured you'd do the bad endings first, so we end on a high note. There's some of the bad endings are really depressing. Well, but yeah, well, like, but okay. yeah, that's the point. Like we want to get the bad stuff out of the way first. Whatever you want. I vote bad. That's kind of what I was feeling too. I don't know why we have to do the bad ending, so I'm just going to go with whatever you guys decide. The reason why, there are two reasons why. There is a good ending, there are bad endings, and then there is the best ending. Okay. The best ending is an extra scene that you earn by unlocking every ending. Okay. So that would be one reason. The other reason is the bad endings aren't just depressing. I mean, they are. But, like... They're not all generic. It's not all just rocks fall and everyone dies. Like some sometimes when you take a hero against the wrong thing, you get a generic like it would just destroy you ending. Mm -hmm. But some of them are unique. Like some of them it matters which hero you take to the wrong fight and it it gives you like plot and development that you wouldn't have gotten if you just played the game once and gotten the good ending and that's and that's so all we do. Are we fighting 25 bosses is that what we're doing? Today? No. <laughs> okay. Uh it looks like the total is going to be the five for the good ending uh one complete run through so five more and then fighting the first three twice. So a total of 60. Okay. Well, let's hop to it. Let's do the the so Brad do the bad ending the fi of all five first. Yeah, that's, that's the order it's in. Although, like, does, when we get when we get to each boss, I'm curious to see if you guys want to make a guess about what the right person is. Like, some of them are really obvious, and some of them are not. Okay. The world now bids farewell. Five seals are unlocked, and the catastrophe has been unleashed. Both the living and the dead will witness the judgment of heaven and earth. Even though I didn't finish it. Whoops. I thought he was dead. I knew it would happen. He escaped with us. And then ran away. Mm. I can't bear it. Like a wolf, my hunger. I'm hungry like the wolf. My very core. Well, this not even you are safe from my appetite for human. Oh, did that have consequences you didn't think of? How about that? Yeah, no, this is a zombie. No. No, he's still just Dark Elma. Rotting human flesh. It's like a zombie to me. I'm pretty sure he's gonna become a giant thing again. There's Leventhin. Hey, buddy. Over here, here Leventhin. Come here, Hi, buddy. Hi, King Valentine. You crazy old doof. Now sleep. You want yeah. someone who just wants to watch the world, bro? Yeah. I figured it was a family trait. Anguist. <laughs> Too young, he doesn't Just have it. Well, Ingwe's too young, he doesn't have it to the degree that his grandfather does yet. But if he lived long enough, he'd get there. I mean, Ingwe kind of Greedy rolled bad on the genetic dice again. because he has this guy for a grandfather, Odin for a dad. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's messed so, up. It should know who its master is. So he doesn't have the ring, but he's gonna try and control the cauldron anyway. Now, respond to my voice. The time has come to bring judgment upon the earth. I am one with destruction. Absorb the power of every foson in the land. Which is we learned from the fairies is the source of all life, so you know. And certainly the source of all fairy life. Mm -hmm. So much experience. <laughs> so much XP. That's not XP. It just powers our skill. No, my magics! You're right, food is XP. Mm -hmm. What a terrible sight. So this, is, so this is what remains of King Valentine. In way, you're alive. Yes. You still hide. Coward. Are you any better? You, any better? you fled from the netherworld. How rude. Hard to believe. You share my noble blood. Dude, I got news for you. You, you don't have any blood left? Oh, we're very, we're very much alike. <laughs> we both lust for power. Power? What power could you possibly hold? 
Let me show you the Darkova. Relive Titania once again. Impossible. Impossible. I'll turn your precious cauldron into scrap. Will you fight to the death? That's the plan. I <laughs> unpleasant. Kind of already dying. The cowardly prince who destroyed his country will give his life to Suicide save. Squad attack. Well, that was his plan. He's like, I have to destroy the cauldron. I better go turn myself into this thing. Yeah. It's not Suicide a great squad. plan. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad would be a lot more effective if they could turn into giant three-headed dogs. Oh sure. <laughs> Oh, hey, dude. My blood is but the anticipation Yeah, <laughs> that delivery was not great. I don't know why I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, I kind of like it, actually. Stop, guys, okay. come on. <clears throat> I feel so sorry for King Gallon in some ways. She's dead, so. What? Rest assured, King Gallon. Oh, these stupid guys. I am your humble servant. My appearance has changed, but my loyalty has not. I am Beldor. You keep saying that, but I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> You know, before he, yeah, when when we first meet him, when Cornelius drops into the underworld, he still has some of his, like I'm trying really hard not to be a complete monster. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean he is, is undead Darkova. Like he still has the hunger. What? Right. And then he would be the Lord of Obsidian. Fire warriors. <laughs> we, shall, we shall march inland. Well, here's the. But the prophecies tell of our demise when we get to the world tree. We're die anyway. There is no world tree. That story, that story is a mere. Also, are you paying attention? We've got nothing else to do. We shall <laughs> burn the forest away and prove that those prophecies are false. By doing exactly what the in prophecies the say. <laughs> Sure, you can find another volcano to hang out in. You would nope, think. this is the only one, and it's weirdly low elevation since it's getting drowned. You know, Hawaii is full of volcanoes that still explode whenever they feel like it. <laughs> nope. Our infantry has been completely annihilated. The Valkyrie, the main gate is destroyed. The enemy is inside the palace. But Mercedes broke it. If only I still had it. Such a problem. Well, your fists are still as large as buses, so. Come at me, bro. 
You would think he would have ciphers just like laying around, considering he, ha- he considering could walk back and forth between. Yeah, though they talk about how often he goes. Yeah, that would be disturbing. Why, this Griselda? Have you lost your way in all this chaos? I have never done anything fatherly for you. No, no, At least he admits it. If I, could, if I could die for you, I would be satisfied. It seems that we can be together forever now. Are you happy, Griselda? No, I'm dead. Bye, Odin. You never did anything right. No one will miss you. As foretold, death triumphs. We can talk about it during the boss fight. You can see the dark troops cover the mountain and beyond. The spirits, the spirits shall soon arrive here. Red Nonaville must be. Princess, princess, remain calm. You must escape from here. I understand you must be worried about Oswald, who went to gather information. Princess, Princess Gwendolyn, this way. He shall, he shall take you to safety. So this is nice that Pukas yes, are going to save her, but... Please, please fetch my spear. Princess Gwendolyn! Princess Gwendolyn. Nope. So, you think she just goes into a magical oh, transformation sequence when she picks up her spear? No, you mustn't. That'd be awesome. Fear not. I am a Valkyrie. If it becomes too much for me, I shall fly Although away. She also has now, a blue cipher. Go on. Hmm. Princess. Yeah, they can't make it too are to meet, let us meet atop Horn Mountain. They're coming. They're Oh, hey, sis. No. Griselda? Griselda? Are you... Are you... Here for me? Here for me? Knock down the crown. Do not forget your role. From the epic poems. Hint, hint, read those. Griselda? Oh, we did that. Not worth my time. Bye! Okay, so do you remember the, the hints from the six-eyed beasts? Mm-mm. Nope. Okay. Um, I believe it talked about... Uh, <clears throat> the main uh, oh, you hint is the no archive. human can defeat. That's nice. It talked about no human can defeat it, and oh, it talked right. about uh, Titanian royal blood. Right. So Cornelius, Cornelius. is the right, right. choice, but yes. we're not doing that. We're apparently. not doing that one, we're doing Velvet. Velvet's going to go fight a brother. And fail. So this is one okay, of the... Unique bad endings. Okay. Armageddon, chapter one, act one. Mm-hmm. It's you. It's you. Isn't it in way? I had this premonition that you'd throw your life away. Hey! Your life, princess. Oh my god. You idiots again. Who are you? Still Beldor, I think. I see you fail to recognize me. Who could? I am Beldor, <coughs> Goldie's compatriot. You're that sorcerer. My signature green hood on. Thanks for this every day. Cast upon me. <laughs> I can still act Anything is smells better death. now that I'm dead. What did you do, did you do to Eway? Mom, he did that to himself. Sure. He tried to or, stop what? the cauldron. Nope, not either. He, he tried to stop Armageddon. Destiny has a sense of irony. For now, he is the very thing that will cause it. Now, beast, devour your twin sister. Let tears of blood flow. I like how he specifically had to say, devour your twin sister. Mm -hmm. It's like, how familial can you get this? Ingwe, I understand. 
Well, you had a point you were going to make. That how that scene with Griselda and Odin was weird. Yeah. Go for it. Well, that was it. How was it weird? Um, we... Okay. It is implied that Odin admired Griselda because she basically did what she was told. She was a good warrior that right. helped him conquer as much as possible. Right. But... Wow, that's a good. We still we see very little evidence of Odin caring about anything. Oh, okay. Sorry, that last sentence was. We see very little evidence of Odin caring about anything. That's true. So having a moment of, well, if I can die with you, it's like no, no. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. That's weird. Well, I mean, I agree. Like he's an idiot, but I mean he's. I have to imagine it would have a pretty profound psychological effect on anybody to realize that every single person, every single soldier, like, is dead. <laughs> like, you, you're sitting on your throne, you're the last one alive, you've probably spent hours fighting these things off, and then your dead kid walks up. Like, if there's any time that you might actually have some remorse, I have to imagine that that would be it. Um, I mean, not... I didn't find it entirely unbelievable, but I can see where you're coming from. Um, something I was going to say about these boss battles, so... Um, and Brad will have to tell us how Ooh. it's... That how was interesting. Where'd the poison come from? Was it up there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, Brad will have to tell us if it's true. As, as we've mentioned, all the boss fights in the original game were absolutely flipping miserable because of the slowdown. Like, they were all hard to fight, no matter which one it was. Mm -hmm. um, in the old game, um, the heroes that are supposed to fight each monster are extremely well suited for them. And fighting monsters, fighting these final five bosses with the wrong hero is a lot harder. Now, all of the heroes have more moves and are more mobile and stuff, so it'll be interesting to see how different it is. But like, for example... Um, well, it's definitely taking Brad a while to whittle this guy down. Well, like, it's usually for mobility reasons. Like, for example, Velvet is not supposed to fight the dragon. Um, and I remember we did that, and it's really, really hard, because Velvet doesn't have a huge amount of mobility um, compared to some of the other characters. Um, apparently having Mercedes fight the Cauldron is like the worst, hardest fight in the game. Um, I don't remember if we did that or not originally, Brad, but um, apparently it's just uh, <laughs> I don't remember doing any of the bad fights, honestly. I we remember did do them, though. Did we? we did. I thought you went and watched them on YouTube. Um, no, I'm not sure, actually, now that you mentioned it. I thought we went and did them. <laughs> no, we had to because we saw the... Oh, sure, you and I saw the, the best, like, the blessed ending. Well, whatever. I can't remember whether it's I saw been it on a long YouTube time. or not. But, um, you don't seem to be having too much trouble so far. Nope. nope. I mean, I've taken some real hits, but I'm doing right. Yeah, two of those. Yep, we almost got one head down. The other ones are severely wounded. He froze his noggin. Dang. Oh, there's one down. Oh, his head came right off. Well, when they have the separate health bars. <sighs> this does make me want to play Dragon's Crown again, though. <laughs> yeah, that game was pretty fun. Dragon's Crown was awesome. Oh. It was fun. Getting a little low on the healths, considering how hard he's hitting you. I think maybe you were playing the wrong class. I didn't think that was the type of class you could enjoy, but... What, the Amazon? Yeah. What should she have played, do you think? Maybe I really the elf. I really liked the sorceress. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know. I thought the Amazon was good because she doesn't involve a lot of... It, like, the sorceress would have involved a lot of management mm -hmm. in the fight. And the Amazon doesn't involve as much. And in the really fast-paced fighting games, um, I lose track of like my extra abilities mm -hmm. and things like that. So... Mm -hmm. 
I don't think I would enjoy the sorceress. Um, what about the? Didn't he just suggest the the archer? I yeah, don't. I don't know how the elf fights really. I've I've played Ooh. the elf a little, but I can't remember how the elf fights. Well, um, so I've been told that her doing her kicks a lot is the wrong way to play her, and you shouldn't have her do, be doing kicks at all. Well, yeah, uh, she's all about actually using the bow. Can you okay. just go the other way? Let's say run, run around the arena, but we could do your fire puller thing. Yeah. If there was a moment. Oh boy, I hope like I hope we get all that stuff back if we have to do these fights again. We're getting. I mean, I don't know about the potions. We're oh. getting plenty of TP. <clears throat> Ham asked what game we were talking about now. Uh, Dragon's Crown, which is made by the same company, um, Vanillaware. So it's got very, very similar art style, very similar... Um, in fact, like the victory music is the exact same. The end stage of victory music is the, is the exact same. Um, it's a four-player side-scrolling uh, adventure beat-em-up type thing. Yeah. Um, it's the spiritual successor to the Dungeons & Dragons arcade games. Plot. Oh. And we'll talk about it more later. Oh. Mother, he hated himself for abandoning her. Yes. Go to sleep, go to sleep anyway. You won't suffer anymore. Let us, go to Let us go to our mother. Together. The three of us. Together. Just like before. Oh, my waifu! Both of you have perished. The cipher is powerful. I underestimated it. There's still, there's still the book. I shall not give up. What? What? Where is it? Where is it? No. Oh, did he drop it? Somewhere in this, Somewhere in this firestorm? That would be unfortunate for a book. You damn fool! I shall persevere. I cannot give I'm up. I'm dead. I got plenty of time. You could blow up, though. Go stay okay. on the fire. So, um, It'll be great. This will be a good time. For those of you on Twitch, just hang out for a minute. For those of you on YouTube, thanks so much for joining us here at the Cartographer's Guild, and we'll see you guys next episode. Bye!